I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. When it comes time to get to the more exciting phases of the project, which is typically adding color, whether it's an acid stain, water-based stain, or a dye for that matter, the type of sprayer that you use is really important. Now, the size of the project in which you'll be applying your coloring agent is going to determine the type of sprayer that you use. As you can see, we have a um, variety of different sizes, two gallon, one gallon, and even quart size sprayers for small detailed areas, so you really need to, to pick the appropriate sprayer. Now, a couple of observations on these sprayers, you'll notice that on the side of this sprayer, it says acid. And so what that means, it's going to resist any acid, whether it's hydrochloric or muriatic acid, um, because of the seals that are used in this type of a sprayer. Whereas on this type of sprayer, you'll notice over here, it says acetone and alcohol. So you really need to read the manufacturer's um, precautions and the types of materials that the sprayers are capable of spraying. Okay, because each has a, a, a specific use. Also, you'll notice the tips in this case. We have a red tip and a gray tip. And what that represents is the amount of volume or fluid that's coming out of the tip. The red tip is uh, much less volume uh, for spraying fine mists like an acid stain. And the gray tip is going to spray more volume um, like a water-based stain or even a sealer. Also, we like to use a tip that's conical in fashion. And what I mean by conical is the fact that it comes out in a cone as opposed to a fan. If you have a fan spray pattern, inevitably you'll see the outer lines of that fan. So it's real important to use a conical spray pattern. A real important safety consideration when using any of these sprayers is that when you assemble your sprayers, make absolutely certain that you attach all of the components that thread on to the, to the spray vessel. Make sure they're tight. I've heard horror stories of uh, disasters happening in the industry. One case was somebody had put an acid stain into the sprayer and pumped the sprayer up to fully atomize the stain and the attachments, the threaded attachments, were not uh, thoroughly attached to the unit and it popped off and sprayed acid stain in their face. So please be careful. Use the appropriate sprayer for that given task. Um, like always, proper safety equipment is mandatory. Safety uh, glasses, respirators. Now when you're spraying heavy solvents, in this case an acetone or an alcohol, I highly recommend that you use an OSHA approved respirator that's specifically designed for capturing the airborne solvents that come in uh, as a vapor. So also, non-absorbent gloves, you don't want acid stains or solvents dripping on your skin. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.